Hello, folks, and welcome to the Ungodly Geeks podcast. So today on our show, we're going to go ahead and talk about video game genres and maybe some stuff we like about the different genres, things we don't like. So uh, leading you off today, I'm Luke. Um, go ahead and introduce yourselves, boys. I'm Joe. I'm Ron. Hey, he's awake. Hey. <laughs> so it's alive. bring your A game, Ron. <laughs> So uh, last week I got a message from a friend of mine who's checked out the podcast and uh, was wondering if we'd talk about resurgence of different genres in video games uh, or maybe uh, a genre that you hadn't been into lately, something got you back into it. The Honestly, the first thing I thought of was the current indie market. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of 8-bit retro platformer oh, yeah. type games in the indie market. Like, like I was saying before, Shovel Knight. Mm-hmm. Is one of those games that I just recently. I'm really into Shovel Knight, and it is a fantastic little game. It's like an homage to all those classic uh, jump status. You know, it's jump kind of like platform games. slash Metro. I mean, I didn't get a chance to play it, but isn't it yeah. like Metroidvania kind um, of deal? Not it's really. straightforward. I really it's, wanted it's, to play it. I just never got um, the chance to. It's more like uh, Super Mario World. With meets like Dark Souls meets um, <laughs> no seriously like that's like the difficulty is Dark Souls level, but not overly so. Like Dark Souls can be at times, and uh, I would say it's, it's more like that with a hub world. Like you have a central hub and you go to the levels, so it's more like Mega Man meets Super Mario meets Dark Souls. Yeah, but it's a really good game, and I I've been I I've been jumping between that lately and uh, Mario Kart Eight on my Switch. Mm-hmm. It's a fantastic game. Like it's really good, and honestly, eight bit visuals they they're not great, but they are great. Yeah, too. he makes a uh, shovel knight makes a cameo in ukulele, and it's really cool to see him like three mm-hmm. D modeled. And stuff. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's oh, in ukulele. Uh, Jeez. Uh, fuck, brave. I think was the game, or no? You know what? It's um, uh, Elysium. Uh, Elysium. Uh, Elysium. Elysium is a movie. Is a, is a movie. No, shit, it's movie. not that. <laughs> With Matt Damon in it. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, Jesus, that I, hack and slash game. Axiom Verge. I, bet you to pick up. I don't fucking know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> whatever it is. There's I, a, I'm not a uh, hack and slash <laughs> fan, really. There's, so. it's, yeah. it's one of the, re- not really recent, it's a couple years old now. Right. But uh, an indie game where you go through and it's like a classic um, side-scrolling slasher uh, kind of like TMT, uh, yeah. TMNT, uh, arcade a little bit game. like that. It's very Castlevania, or but um, pre, or, or like uh, any any uh, battle or Golden Axe games or stuff like that, where you, it's a side scroll and you beat them up. It's also got the platforming elements to it, so it's right. like uh, like Castlevania One really is the mm. I think the biggest inspiration for the game. But uh, you go through and you collect, you can collect characters from all these other indie games, right? And there's a area where you go and they're like having a party. <laughs> uh, okay. A lovely tea party. It? It's right. it's great. I was <laughs> uh, I was going to remember the game. It's one of my favorite uh indie games that's come out, but there's a lot soon that are coming out like the side scrolling shooter uh Cuphead coming I, out. I don't know this anything year. about that. I, I I this is the first I'm hearing I keep of it. hearing the the name. Yeah, it Donkey uh video game Donkey on YouTube talks about it all the time. And uh, that, I think, was the first place I saw it. They keep showing it at PAX, and it's like it's like watching a cartoon but or playing a cartoon as a video game. It's where I've been wanting graphics to get to for a long time. I love that cartoon art style. It looks like you're playing one of the old um, – uh, not well, Warner Brothers cartoons, Tiny uh, Looney Tunes, Tunes. Games. like like Looney Tunes, like classic black and white Looney Tunes t- oh, okay. style cartoons. Oh, oh, uh, um, Hanna Barbera, right? Okay, man, that, 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 that like I remember playing the old Mickey Mouse game for yeah. the uh, Genesis, and it was black and white. <laughs> like, bring back those memories. Yeah, it looks it looks beautiful. I really want the game to come out and finally be released. Um, but I mean, it's constantly you see indie games come up on Kickstarter. I haven't seen sh- I haven't seen nothing. From I mean, it. oh, from Cuphead. Yeah, yeah. I've watched the trailers that have come out, and the, I think they had gameplay at the last PAX. But uh, it's it's hard to keep track of if you're not. I, I don't. I don't even know if they did a Kickstarter for that game specifically. Yeah. But since it's not like a well, developer just, uh, that you're I've, constantly seeing, I'm assuming they did <laughs> everything. that's kickstarted and yeah, and uh, crowdfunded nowadays. 
Everything, Give us money, god yeah. damn it. Everything fails, too. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Fails in uh, more ways than one. Like, uh, something Mighty like number nine. Mighty number nine, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, um, like, my... That's... Uh, I... You know, that, that, that was a game that promised so much. Yeah. And just could not deliver. Like, that should have been on our game, our list of disappointing games. Yeah. But we 100%, didn't really. 100%, yeah. yeah. I wasn't going to put money well, okay. to it, Okay, well, you remember, like, you, you can, you remember the old, like, gameplay videos right, and trailers. Right. They were the so... released game looks drastically different. Yeah, it looks yeah. shittier. It's like, it's like going it, from. What? It's like going from the E3 Watch Dogs footage to the actual oh, game God, footage. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's how bad, that's how stark the difference was. Not to mention the subject, gameplay. I like that game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, it's a good game. I'm not saying that, but you gotta admit, his, uh, going from E3 to that was his what trench the fuck coat was that? still flaps in the wind. But yeah, it's like that. That was one of those Guys. games that it was like, hey, it's Mega <laughs> no. Man. Mega Man is fucking awesome. Not this. No. What the fuck is this pile of shit? Mega Man. Yeah, like it was, immediately it was looking at the reviews for that game, reading about it. Somebody mentioned uh, 20 uh, 20XX. Yeah, that was me. I told you. Yeah. To, I told you to go grab Twenty XX because it was a superior Mega Man clone, and it mm-hmm. was actually a Mega Man X clone. And it's and, fun as hell. And my honest, my, my my honest opinion is that Mega Man X was kind of where Mega Man hit its stride. Yeah, Mega that Man was X my One, favorite. Two, and Three, great fucking games. X Four was still really good. I don't know anything beyond that because I didn't care after that because they all started to look <laughs> kind of stupid. Mega Man Legends. <laughs> But um, they, didn't they make a sequel to that? They, ne- I, I think, or it there was, was one. They, everyone there was one wanted the it, and yeah. it never. It's one of those never to be released games. But, uh, but yeah, like tw- Duke Nukem Forever should have been. Oh god! But yeah, twenty <laughs> XX. That game never should have been released. Yeah, no. <laughs> but um, it's like twenty XX is a like I said, it's a Mega Man X clone. Yeah, and it definitely does the Mega Man thing better. It's in still my honest the, opinion, uh, taking enemies' powers thing. It's yeah, great jump and shoot game, and it's difficult. It, mm. It's like unforgivingly hard. Mm-hmm. Which you know, I've I, I recently got a hold of the the Mega Man Legacy Collection, and I forgot how hard these games were. Oh yeah, like I was play, I was sitting there trying to play Mega Man, and I I'm not awful at platformers. I'm pretty you know halfway decent. I was getting my ass handed to me. I'm like, jeez, this is just relentless. Like you get, you starting, you stand on the screen and enemies just keep flying at you, just just flying, non fucking stop. Yeah, uh, I remember. Was it eight? Was the the like new game that came out for the Xbox Live Arcade? The one that came out a couple years ago. Uh, that was uh, no, I think it was nine. Nine, yeah, Mega Man Nine. Um, my buddy I lived with at the time purchased that game. Right. And, you know, he's like – and I remembered playing the old Mega Man games and not being good at them. Right. But playing 9 was like, holy fuck, this is hard as balls. My my favorite game of the original Mega Man series to this day still remains Mega Man 6 mm. just because – and it's the stupidest reason ever, but because it added the jetpack so you could fly. Oh, I you, don't remember the jetpack. Because Mega Man X or Mega Man Six rather um, introduced uh, having Rush, I think, as a character. Yeah, the dog, and he could like interface with Mega Man, mm-hmm. and so there was a, there was a power that you could get where you could turn Rush into a, a like a jetpack. Oh, okay. So you you attach him to your body, and he turns into two little jets on your back, and you <laughs> turn red, and you can fucking fly. Nice. I, yeah. I do remember using the rush bounce. That's fucking quite weird, often. But yeah, awesome. no. There was another ability that he granted, which made you big and bulky, and gave you like a really strong but really short range punch that you had to charge up. Man, I, I need to go back and play those games again. Yeah. I need to get that that. Uh, yeah, it's, I think pack. it's it's like fifteen dollars on Steam. I think. Yeah. So it's like it's not badly priced. I think I only paid twelve for it, but yeah, it, it's 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 worth it just to see. The games that I grew up with again. Honestly, to play Mega Man Two, I'd play it just to enjoy the music. <laughs> yeah, no, the thank music you, was Dwayne great. and Brando. But yeah, uh, the music was great. I fucking love that game. Um, and the powers were really cool in that game. Mm-hmm. That still has my favorite power ever, which is the uh, the the um, fucking metal cutter because oh, you could cut fire. Because no, 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 no. That's the first one. Oh, okay. No, the metal cutter. Uh, it's probably Metal Man or some dumb shit like that, but <laughs> you could throw saw blades in all eight directions, mm. and it's like I don't know why, but that was just fucking cool as hell to me. Be- probably because I was like 
six. So. Yeah, and you're throwing saw blades in eight different directions. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, cool. that's like the most metal thing I can think of right now in a Mega Man game. It's pretty fucking metal. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'd like to go back and play By those. definition, it's metal. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, um, but, uh, you know, back to, like, game genres, I, I got something I'd like. I, I would very much like to see survival games go away. Mm-hmm. Not like, like it, they can just quietly drop off the map. I'm okay with that. I, I'm so fucking tired of opening my Steam store and, like, you know, because they have, like, this feature where you can go through queues of games they think you might be interested in based on what you've bought and what you've played. And... I've not played many survival games, and I've not bought many survival games, but <laughs> anywhere, like, like the queue is 10 games, and anywhere from two to six of these fucking games that are in my queue when I log on every so often are fucking survival games. Maybe they're zombie-themed. Maybe they're ocean-themed. Maybe you're trapped on an island. Oh, yeah, none of this shit's been done before. Yeah. It's all fucking original ideas. Yeah, Minecraft started all of it, and... And I can't remember when, like, the, the, the switch happened, but you started to see games like Ark yeah. and Don't Starve. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm starve. more forgiving uh, when they're done well. Starve. Subnautica, where, like, yeah. like, these games that release a beta version right. for, like, $30 two and three years before they're even close to finishing it. And then when it releases, you don't like games like that. <laughs> no, then when I'm, it releases, they're still not a finished product. No, they're still usually buggy piles of shit. Or uh, if they do work, there's something else wrong with them. So it's, yeah. it's and I less... got a friend who's like, man, they they finally released. They're adding all this stuff to Subnautica. They released Subnautica, and I'm but they update. I'm it like every couple I'm months. Not a, it's a like dick. But it's not done yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a dick. I'm not gonna right. rain on his parade and stuff like that. I'm like that. That's cool, man. But inside, I'm like, <laughs> boy. Um, yeah. Um, I just I, didn't that game come out like three years ago. I, I just had well, this thought that when Ron said, "I'm not a dick. I'm not gonna rain on his parade," like I would totally rain. On <laughs> I'm gonna tell him. Like I'm gonna tell that game is shit. Go kill yourself. Like, <laughs> but um, you like, know, like Ark. I bought Ark right over yeah. a year and a half, like a year, a year and a half ago. Yeah, I, I remember. Mean, the game was just, just released retail less than less less than I don't know a handful of months ago. Yeah, uh, right. but like, no, come on, man. I I played this game till I was sick and tired of it mm-hmm. over a year ago, and it was unfinished. Right now, I'm supposed to hop back in because it's done, guys. Oh, yeah. It's done. No, you finished I'm, I'm it. Okay. Did you add anything new? Can I? Can I? Can they I? They did. Ark, dinosaur? Ark actually did add. I mean, it, 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 I did get a kick out of. I got in it and flew for around about a, for about a week. No, yeah. literally for like an hour or two, just to see <laughs> in passing, flying around what they added. They did add a lot of sh- a lot of stuff and a lot of new creatures and right. I got and it. they changed the biomes and right, which okay. was neat. That, that's kind of all right. All right. But I mean, still. Yeah, I'm, I'm it's good. like you know, it's still uh, unfinished. Like right. I, I picked it up when I heard the Xbox release was coming out because I, it, it's a game with dinosaurs. I fucking love dinosaurs. Yeah, like, I want to check on. this out. Yeah, what, what other game? Uh, you get to ride a fucking dinosaur? Exactly. And I can tame dude, a T Rex yeah. or something. <laughs> well, I don't so, know. But, you know. Catch this, catch this like prehistoric kangaroo type. Yeah. You can hop in its pouch. <laughs> yeah, like of course I want to do that. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean my inner <laughs> child is screaming at yeah. me. Let's ride I'm dinosaurs, just, I'm bro. Always, I'm on like an endless you can quest feed them. To find There's them. a shit button. Yeah. Like I, I want to play this game. And it has like an authentic. It has like a fart sound. An authentic. Authentic sound? Is yeah, that what you yeah, were about yeah, to say? Authentic <laughs> shit noises. But uh, we yeah. all know um, what those are like. But thought, yeah, I'm thought... like on an endless quest to find like the perfect Squirtle <laughs> uh, tortoise in that game. I have, right. like I have a Squirtle and a War Turtle and a Blastoise, <laughs> and I have every I have so many different like dinosaurs that are named after Pokemon. I have like I have like these giant these giant birds and Argentavises. Like I name them all like different fast foods like <laughs> like like McNugget and chicken quetzadilla because <laughs> they're called quetzals. <laughs> I have like this little dinosaur his name is Small Fry. And Ron, this is what Ron does all day. Ron and his fucking puns. When I found a shark autistic, autistic in a, a, a megalodon <laughs> in a pond that wasn't big enough to hold a school bus, that's when I was like, all right, Apparently, there's still some work that needs to be done in this game. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little fucky. Yeah. I mean, Something's I, a little fucky here. I walked up and killed it because it could not swim to turn around and bite me. It's like so. I sat there for about ten minutes you know punching what, it. You know what that reminds me of? For some reason, I, I thought of the scene in Archer 
where fucking Krieger builds a sub in the pool yes, of the mansion. Exactly. It's like, how are we supposed to get out of here? He's like, damn it. And then he blows the thing up and there goes a bunch of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like He didn't build an exit. <laughs> it's like what, fucking idiot. But then he loaded it with the cocaine <laughs> and then blew it up. It's like what is wrong with you, man? But uh yeah, like, like survival and crafting games, they need to go away. And Don't Starve is one of those games that actually made me start hating those games. Uh, we were playing it. I was hosting a server, some friends and I, and one of those friends burned the fucking shit down we had. <laughs> yeah. So I sat there for five fucking hours learning server commands and all the syntax and shit to restore our stuff. Mm-hmm. Then he burned him down again. I mean... The first time was on accident, him. so it wasn't a big deal. The second time was on purpose, and I yeah. wanted to choke the little fucker. What I was getting at, I mean, there's there's fun to be had, and I feel like survival games... They've run their course. It's got to be done like, well, They can though. be done right, like, but as yeah. they are right now, they've yeah. evolved in, into like these Subnautica and Ark type games. They're all and, clones and everybody, of And people love them games, but... They're just people love watching I, other people play true, them too, which true. sells the yeah. shit out of them. Um, yeah, yeah. No, I, sure. I'll even admit that's why I bought Subnautica. Like Jack, and then I played no, Jack five Jack minutes. Jack and made me hate and Subnautica. And Markiplier are keeping Subnautica alive yeah. right now. Uh, I mean, there's a guy that I watch MXR, and he he did mods yeah, for Skyrim. He play he plays Charmant. Subnautica. Yeah. Sloots. 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 <laughs> now hold on there, Jimmy. So, but um, that's not immersive. <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, uh, yeah, like, he, he plays Subnautica, so I can't, I mean, I hate, I hate, like I said, Jack, 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 Jack Septicai made me hate Subnautica because... Jack Spadicey? Because he, he's annoying, so... Stop in the motor to you! Gav on, Gav, uh, <laughs> the Miracle of Sound on, uh, he's on the Gymquisition. I can't he, tell if he hates him or not. Uh, he does, he's like, every, <laughs> he, he, like, underhandedly, like compliments him like he's a smart guy but yeah, no i no, i've like never that. heard anybody <laughs> talk like him ever <laughs> nobody he's says a, top he's of the a morning. smart lad he's capitalizing on all these these um, so stereotypes Americans. and tropes and shit yeah, yeah. yeah i can't blame i him. just find him annoying he, he i but i also find people who who go over the top on purpose annoying yeah so that's just that's just that's just a product of and whatever if, if it's you go a back and look at Let's like uh, yeah go back and look at jack's first videos yeah he's so chill and he just <laughs> sounds so normal right turn on every any video now it's just like top of the morning to you in this irish just uh, you're bombarded with all this craziness right he's and that's crazy. the same why uh, some reason why i don't really like markiplier either markiplier is the same kind of kind of shit yeah it's like he just goes <laughs> over the top and it's like i have nothing against the dude personally i just i don't like his videos so uh, i don't watch them jack pokes fun at himself he's got he's got he started this new thing like a month ago like yeah jack, like like jack sept guy highlights or whatever and that they're like 11 minute videos of him just screaming <laughs> like it's ah, and then it cuts to the next like game he's playing on a let's on. play and he's just doing the same thing so he it, it's 11 he's become minutes. self-aware yeah <laughs> there's a uh, Sorry, okay you know that. what then respect i got a little yeah a little more respect yeah. for that like when you can become self-aware and make fun of yourself that's that's pretty awesome <laughs> i gotta say one of my favorite channels on youtube uh jack's films he did a video where he i think the title of it was something about like loud youtubers so he's just sitting there he opens the youtube app and clicks on a Septicai video, and it's just blaring. <laughs> like, like those old sound tests just screaming in his face. He's, like, holding the phone back. It's fucking great. That uh, sounds about <laughs> right, too. I man. just picture I'd... that, like, that torture scene from SpongeBob when Mr. Krabs ties Plankton down, and instead of, like, making SpongeBob laugh, he just puts on a Jacksepticeye video. <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh, no! Oh, so terrible. <laughs> oh, God. I I would kill myself. <laughs> I gotta do the job Death for you. Don't worry better. about it. <laughs> Silence, please. Oh God. Yeah. Seriously, the uh, survival games. Go, I think go away. I think if your game starts and the player needs to punch a tree, you just need to stop coding and take a look at yourself and go back to the drawing yeah, board like, about like, your fucking video game. What, what are you What are you doing with your life? Just stop. Survival it. games die in a fire so that you may rise. From the ashes. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I don't better. like survival stuff. Like the survival know, mods for Skyrim are actually yeah, pretty was, fucking interesting. I was going to get to that. Like I play yeah. Skyrim with survival mods, and they can be fun. Survival stuff can be fun when that becomes the point, though. It's like when 
like okay, Ark, I'm so I was so happy to to see that the game had sliders. Like when you get into like like I'm in the fucking sun and right. I'm getting dehydrated. That's fucking and annoying. I need to run into the water and drink water or do that. Like fuck off. I right. wanna play the game. I, I wanna, wanna ride have fun. dinosaurs. The like, speed at which are, you get why, dehydrated and hungry in those you, games is ridiculous. That's yeah. fun to some people, fair enough, but like that I don't that I don't understand. That's not fun to me where it's yeah, just no. you're just, it is just like accosting you. At every mm-hmm. at every step of the way, like you want. Oh man, that's cool. I want to do this. I want to have fun. Fuck you. You got this meter. It's down. You need to replenish this meter or yeah, that you, meter. You, and like, you need fuck to inject off. yourself with heroin so you wake up more. Jesus. I mean, because that's the only way it's going to happen. Apparently, spend forty minutes or forty forty hours <clears throat> just farming for food and shit. God. And then in Ark, it fucking goes bad. Speaking of Ark and meters, it bring that god PTSD of like trying <laughs> to tame a gigantosaurus. Oh God! Literally, like. A day, like a day, and taming Quetzals and stuff in that game. I'll be honest. It's so time-consuming. It's one of the most time-consuming things in a video game I've ever done is taming taming animals in Ark. Right, yeah, no, I mean, it's it sounds like a really fucking cool idea, because, you know, like, like we've said Concept. like 60 times now, fucking yeah. riding dinosaurs, but dude... <laughs> No, I played that game like the one time and then immediately went, I'm done with this, bought like a five dollar dinosaur hunting game on Steam so I could go around and and just shoot dinosaurs (laughs) with a sniper rifle. <laughs> and I was like, Hell this yeah. is better. Well, I mean, you, that's that's part of the taming process, I guess, in Ark. But like, it's called taming, and quote, I say that in quotations. You knock an you knock an animal out. <laughs> then you, you commit date rape. Yeah. Then you have to keep it. You have to keep it uh, sedated. You, while you pull you, a Bill Cosby. While, okay. you, while you're, you're feeding Cosby, it kibble yes. and shit like that until it's ta- it's knocked out, it, but you're still yeah, force feeding it. Force feeding it until it's it's tame meter oh raises to a certain level, and that then when it gets up, so, it's, yeah. it sounds so See, sadistic. It's weird. I like. Oh my god! I, I it's hypocritical a little bit, but I love the taming in Far Cry Primal, where you just beat the shit out of the animal and pull out a piece of meat and go. Oh, pa. Oh, pa. <laughs> and then it takes the meat and you pet it on the head, and now you got a best friend bear. Did we Fuck just yes. become best friends? <laughs> yes. yes. I love that. Yes, I did. love that. Fucking riding around a giant fucking cave bear in that game. Shit doesn't fuck with you. It's like you can do that in Breath of the Wild, too. Yeah. <laughs> like you can sneak up on a fucking bear and just tame it <laughs> and then ride it around for like I don't hours. I think you tamed it. I think you just had to jump on it, right? No, no, you still have to tame it. Oh, like okay. with any, oh with, yeah, yeah. With yeah. any animal, you still have to tame yeah. it. But yeah, like you just you just sit there and fucking press a button until like it in Far Cry I am the four. bear king. Like in Far Cry 4, I, re- I really just wanted to ride an elephant and I'd see like gameplay videos yeah. of people riding elephants and then you'd see a honey badger come out of nowhere and just <laughs> attack the elephant. <laughs> Honey Badger, honey don't, badger give don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. Oh my god! Honey I think badger. that should be our goal to mention Honey Badgers in every podcast from here going forward. I think we can do that, like, <laughs> dude. Do do not like under underestimate my ability to just insert dumb shit like anywhere I go. Like, oh yeah, speaking of which, you know the Honey Badger. I love the Honey Badger in in that game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I think it was like, dude, like. It would be fucking frightening to be sitting there sneaking around in that game. Like, maybe you're stalking oh a fucking turkey God, or yeah. something. And next thing you know, you're getting fucking raped by three honey badgers. Like, that's like nightmare fuel, man. You know what was worse in that game, though? The honey badgers would kind of be annoying with that. But you could hear that, like, the, this chirping noise they made, and you knew to stop and yeah. fucking look around. Right. The it's like eagles. tigers in Far Cry 3. Yeah. The eagles were the most fucking annoying thing in that game. Because I, I really don't think a golden eagle fucks with humans at every goddamn chance it gets. I mean, but in that game, if you hear a caw, yeah. fucking duck and cover and no just way. start unloading an AK-47 into the air. Because those <laughs> fuckers will fly down and claw your goddamn eyes out. Like, what yeah. a dick. Like. They're assholes. It's like in Far Cry 3, you couldn't, you couldn't go 10, 20 feet without hearing a rare. And, <laughs> and then you got to stop. you're like, and oh, go shit. And you, like a tiger is literally like, I love hunting that, you on the yeah. prowl. It's cool as fuck. But. <laughs> yeah. I think it kind of wore off in 4, the novelty of 3, where it was so much fun. And then when you get to 4, it almost seems like they overloaded it. Yeah, because that's pretty much what the game turns into, yeah. isn't it? So I mean, like that's that sort of yeah. Like they they sort of take that one 
mechanic that's mm-hmm. in the context of three is really fucking cool, and then they make it the point of the next game almost in a way. Yeah, like they well maybe not a point, but they make it a much larger part. Unfortunately, I think four suffered from the fact that uh, it was it, it was like all right, three was successful. Let's fucking bust out four next year. Right, and it came out, and it was way way too similar graphically. Um, the map was like it was a little more interesting. It was a lot more yep. vertical. I did, which feel was like cool. I got an expansion vibe, like a yeah, glorified expansion. But it expansion was it was like it was way game. too little of a change between the two games. Right. You the game the guns didn't, didn't all they use could the same map though. In. No, no, that no. was primal and four. primal. And four. Oh, okay, okay. Which you can't really tell, to be honest. It's lazy as fuck, and I don't forgive him for that. But uh, it, it's, it's lazy, I, I'm but not. It's I don't ever in primal feel like I recognize this from four. I haven't I seen it yet. I mean, I don't feel like I would have noticed either unless yeah. people were pointing it out to me like, hey, hey, yeah. hey, look at this waterfall. It's yeah. the same one. Same spot. Look, it's, it's it's even the same color water. Yeah. Whoa. You're drinking blood out of skulls and shit in uh, Primal, so I, I never noticed. Yeah, like, I think you're I think you're a little too drunk on blood to fucking care. Yeah. Like, who gives a shit? Yeah, I rented that one. I didn't, I didn't get to play it for that long, but uh, fart... I'm, Far Cry Three is the the one I put a lot of time into. It was the best so far. I still have two played was amazing too. They kind of dropped the ball with Voss in that game towards the end of his his uh, arc, but was, he was so that's good. one of I my favorite games notice. ever. I, I that's part of where Ford kind of dropped the ball was not having that that enough of a story, enough of an antagonist. Like they had things that were interesting. But uh, they just really because I, I keep I can't I can't I don't know what to believe about this pagan men character because he's cool but he's people... not as much of a villain like he's not your he's your antagonist but he comes off as he's just a dude like a like a crazy king he's literally Whereas cosplaying Voss, as the Joker yeah Voss could like I honestly was convinced Voss was going to come out of every fucking corner and like beat the shit out of me yeah. whereas pagan uh, men is like is like uh. Kim Jong Un or Kim Jong Il, yeah. he's like just a fucking crazy asshole in a castle, and it's like I'm going to beat the king. Such good memories yeah. from from Far Cry Three. Those like be- those like uh, behind the scenes like commercials or whatever, where the live yes. action stuff. He's oh, got the, the dude advertising. He's got the dude so buried up to his head on the, and, and, <laughs> and, and the, on the there. beach, and he like he's pissing on him at one point. He, like, <laughs> he, like, thr- he like sticks a firecracker next to him, puts the bucket over his head. <laughs> Dude, I want to see a and you, death in the battle. Game, not to cut you off, in that oh, game, you could find you, f- you find the guy on the beach. That's so fucking cool. I want a death battle between him and um, uh, Grand Theft Auto V's... Uh, uh, fuck, what's his name? Crazy dude. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V. Trevor. Trevor, yeah. The best character give in video me, game history. Give Trevor. me a death battle between Voss and Trevor. Because those two Nobody characters are so can, similar. Um, don't, don't, tre- so amazing. Trevor, Trevor will you. end the world. <laughs> I, Trevor will end the world, but I think Trevor, Voss Trevor will, against will the world. I'm, I'm choosing Trevor. <laughs> what are we talking about from GT? I'm sorry, GTA I blanked five. out. Yeah, yeah okay, that's what I thought. Trevor, I blanked out for a little bit. Trevor I'll be honest is, with you in, is like, okay, you think of crazy Grand Theft Auto, like the player personality traits in Grand Theft Auto. Yes, that is Craziness. Trevor. Trevor is the embodiment of all of the crazy bad shit that players that have players done over do. the years. Yeah. Yeah. He is the living embodiment of all of that shit. And it he, is amazing. He is chaos incarnate. Yeah, he is. And that is like his element. Uh, yeah. And part they, of the guy they got to play him was really, really good too. Yeah, that's part of the reason I want to see them because you could hire the guy who played Trevor and the yeah, guy who played they, Boss. They, they look exactly like them, <laughs> and they act like. Well, I don't like, know if they act. It's like uncanny them. as They'd fuck when you see him in anything else. Yeah. Well, that's probably how they they, they might have done it that way. Oh, they did it. They on just purpose, took the voice. Totally. They just took the voice actor and said, "You know what? Fuck it. Let's model the characters and after these so guys." So fucking yeah. good. I remember watching old IGN videos. Uh, Back, back when Greg Miller and them were still with IGN, and back they when IGN that, was still somewhat decent, they invited. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was. I dropped off after Colin. IGN was Colin. Never when Colin decent. and Greg left IGN, I was pretty much done. Yeah, no more beyond. I'm I'm good. Uh, but uh, but yeah, they invited him over, and they like. He would fuck with them and yeah. go into character, and, and they're all just horrified. I'd shit myself. The dude was terrifying. Yeah, I don't want to. And dude is jacked. Like, yeah. like secretly, like low key, this guy is fucking jacked. Right. In real life, I was shocked. Yeah, I wouldn't fuck with him. I know. I saw a YouTube video where he was essentially doing that live action, doing Trevor, 
And oh man, it's oh. just fucking amazing. Like like yeah. a like where he's just doing the stuff he does in game in Pretty real life. Much. Well, yeah. That would be Hollywood. I would, I would, like would, cast this guy in something. He's amazing. Oh, I would be he's okay in, with uh, that. He's in what uh, Westworld or or uh, one of these shows that are that are on right now. He was I, in. That, no, I don't know, but that reminds me that I need to go back to watching Westworld. I'm still on episode six. So he was in. Sure uh, he was in Better Call Saul too. Uh-huh. Uh, the old guy was like doing a drug deal, and the old the old guy. Whatever. I I've yeah. not watched Better Call Beats Saul. In me. fact, I never finished Breaking Bad. Um, yeah. For, for me, and it's so stupid, but what ended it for me was the Fly episode, where the Fly got into the super fancy lab and they spent the entire episode trying to kill the <laughs> fucking people Fly. People love that episode. I hated people, that episode. I don't know why. People point that episode out as to like one of the reasons why that show is amazing because <laughs> it, it just they it, were willing to have filler. Yeah. Like, I, I got to a point though, like where I was so invested in the show, and I was so invested in what was going on, and then they break that up by having a fly get in the fucking lab and have Walter go so fucking like anal retentive over the shit, and it just I, I, it, <laughs> it, it took me out of the show. I, I get where he's coming from. I totally understand contamination and all that, but it just fucking took me completely out of the show because you see them earlier in the fucking show making meth in a goddamn RV or a fucking Winnebago in the middle of the desert. Yeah. Like, he's got to have the best meth. Yeah, man, fuck yourself, man. He's an artist. <laughs> yeah, I get it though, but but for me, for me personally, I was so invested in the show. I I had binge watched like the last season and a half. And then I got to that episode, and it just took me out of the series for some reason. I don't know why. I can't. And once explain you've it. seen, you, you know, once you've seen him like in his underwear and like in the middle of the desert, or like <laughs> pissed off, throw a pizza on top of their house. <laughs> like you, you've you've seen what you need to see. <laughs> yeah, no, that's. I mean, they're it's minerals, like, Marie. Good. It's but, like if you've um, seen Dexter murder somebody and cover it up, you're good. Yeah, no, that's pretty much the entire series, and that thing yep. drags on for several seasons, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, all right, so back on topic because we went on one we had hell a of a tangent I had there. Completely forgotten. I was <laughs> um, trying to remember what were we talking about. Other again? things that I would like to see go away would be microtransactions and oh, AAA God, titles. That is them. cancer. The yeah. number one cancer to the video game in the video game industry. It is ruining video games. And the bad thing is, is like it's not going away. In fact, it's getting stronger. Everything yeah. bad in video games is like microtransactions. Microtransactions, right? Like. And Nintendo seems to be the last bastion that's kind of holding out on that. Like, cause they Give did the them Super time. Ma- well, yeah. they did, well, well, they're already getting into the um, fucking DLC game and the... Right. Uh, they're right. just so the hesitant to... DLC, what is it? Uh, well, like, 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 that's their thing. Like, with, 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 with Mar- Super Mario Run, that's exactly what they did, was they went the opposite direction. One $10 payment, boom, the fucking whole game is unlocked. I was going to download that, but I didn't because I know, like, after, like, five levels, you got to, like, start yeah, paying. Yeah, you got to give them 10 bucks for the rest yeah. of the game. And they discovered with that that, you know, like, like Shadow uh, Fire Emblem, their Fire Emblem game on mobile makes them significantly more money. Mm-hmm. But they're still like, we don't really want to do that because we think it's a shitty thing. And I'm like, thank you, Nintendo. Yeah. But it's like, like... Ubisoft this year announced that that's pretty much what they're going to focus on: multiplayer games with microtransactions. And it's like I hate you. It's, I it's fucking the hate shit you. That ruins like, Call like of Duty. you couldn't be shittier before. Like I really was convinced you couldn't become a shittier company, and you mm-hmm. you just fucking went out there and proved me wrong, man. Like oh my god, I hate microtransactions. Like in mobile it's games, disgusting. In mobile games, they're fine. Look at the look at. I mean, they're shitty, but that's where yeah. they should stay. That's They've where they should stay. They've been in past Halo games, but you look at like what it's done. They weren't in. You past need only. Halo you games. need only look at Halo Five. Yeah, that's where it like, fucking the just battle came packs in. and right. shit like that. And God. Gears of War, I was so like you open you you open up the game and you start playing it and it's like open up this crate, the silver crate, and the bronze crate, and the gold yep. crate. Like fuck you. My my fuck biggest. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. No. My, my my biggest issue with microtransactions at all is not that they exist. It's in Mass Effect now, it, it's too. that God it's it. that not only do you have the audacity to charge me sixty dollars for an incomplete game, mm-hmm. but now you're gonna charge me anywhere from a dollar to five, six, whatever upper limit you might set for additional content that probably should have been a part of the fucking game to begin with. And not just additional content; some of it is just shit that fucking. 
is useless. Like enhances multiplayer, like makes you earn XP faster. Right. Or or, or it like increases your health recovery or yeah, gives you an a, a, an ammo drop in, in the middle of a fucking match or something. It's like yeah. it's really really stupid. And like that's my real major problem. Like I don't I, I hate them. I agree that they're cancer. But they're not gonna. They don't bother me as much when they're in a free to play game. Yeah. As long as it's not a free to win, like a, a pay to win game, or a pay to win situation, I'm fine with them. When they're limited to cosmetic items or they're limited to you know just vanity shit, I'm I'm okay with them. When I gotta pay to get something that really should be a part of the game. Yeah. If I've already paid sixty bucks, yeah. or I fucking buy a game and get the fucking expansion pass so i've paid 80 or 90 dollars or more and then you're still gonna charge me additional money for and extra then, yeah, pieces of you content wanna charge me for fucking tokens or some shit so i could buy your crates so that i have a random fucking chance to earn skins yeah or voices okay or s- fucking sprays fuck you for Overwatch. In- injustice the standard one you just get the game injustice to yeah i was just uh, thinking digital about deluxe edition you get three dlc fighters one premium skin oh, plus one fuck you guys. exclusive gear shader pack then you if you want to go crazy fuck. yeah you shaders. can buy the ultimate edition you get nine dlc fighters and three pre- premier skins plus two exclusive gear shader packs this is why I won't buy that fucking game. Yep. Fuck you, WB, and whoever the and fuck made that they're shit. They're doing this now. They're, they're, there's three versions of the game that you can yeah. that are for sale right now. But they're all and the I same game. I guarantee you in a year they're going to they're going to sell it again for $60. For $60, with but it's all going to uh, be in there. With everything. Yeah. It's the game of the year edition. Then yep. you then you'll actually get the full game. That's when I might buy it. Maybe. But probably not. Maybe. I'll wait till it's I might, I'm broke I as might, fuck, so I'm probably yeah. going to be... That's probably how it's going to work You're out You're just going to play demos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to play vicariously through other people by Josh. watching them play on YouTube. I've actually already oh, been watching it's, some it's of the cutscenes on like, YouTube. Right. Uh, I got a lot going on right now, so I just I can't afford a fucking game right now, or, yeah, nor do I happens. have the time for it. Right. It's eating me alive every time I get on YouTube. <laughs> it's like... All injustice cutscenes. Yeah, no. yeah. I, I feel. You, see I completely that. feel your fucking pain, man. Because like when Breath of the Wild was ready to release, I had been watching a couple videos just to see what the fuck is up with it, and uh-huh. and like when Amazon fucked my order up that weekend and I didn't oh. get the game, and then I would log on to YouTube that after that, and every fucking video <laughs> in my fucking suggested thing was Breath of the Wild this, Breath of the Wild that, find this this exploit, get this weapon, get this item. It's like, oh, I fucking hate you, YouTube. <laughs> but I hate you, I hate you, Amazon, even more. Yeah. You ruined my birthday, you cucks. But, that was um, that was hell of playing that game and wanting to talk about it and be like, yeah, it's all right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, because I didn't like, want to fucking be like, it's so cool. Oh wait, you didn't get it yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he he didn't want to be a dick, which I you know thanks, but yeah, yeah it, it was one of those things, man. I I got it though. I, I was fucking determined. Like, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I bought the shit on eBay, then I bought the other shit from Walmart. Like I was fucking determined to get that, get a Switch so I could play it. Speaking of um, these fuckers and the shit they pull, I swear to Christ, EA, I fucking, I'm a diehard Battlefield fan. And I've been a fan of that series since fucking the original 1942, 1943, whatever the fuck it was. Um, do not fuck me this time with the next Battlefield game. Oh, it's too late. They've already got it planned. A Battlefront, that game too. Right. Please, sell me a full game for $60 and then sell extra maps and stuff afterwards. Don't fucking do this bullshit where I pay $60 and get like a quarter of a video game. That is the dumbest shit. That is so fucking frustrating. Yep, the only time, you know, downloadable content hasn't... uh piss me off it's done the opposite was with cd project red when they gave you 16 weeks of free dlc just little things like hey buddy the shit that would have been a you. pre-order we bonus appreciate on everybody the fact else. that you bought our game yeah every week here's something here's yeah. something for you something simple and then when they do actually release dlc for it it's almost as big as the main fucking game yeah yeah no like blood and wine is every other video so game huge. developer every other video game company Fucking eat your heart out and fuck uh, off. Well, I that's have how, a lot That's of, how you're supposed to do things. Yeah. I have a lot of problems with stuff that Bethesda's done. 
Um, one thing I did like about Fallout 4 was when they released their DLC, they had released the DLC pack, released the price and everything, priced it at like 30 bucks or something. And then they were like, fuck, we have a lot of ideas. We're going to come out with a shit ton of DLC packs. So what we're going to do is you for the next week, you can buy it for the $30 we've already set it at. After that, we're raising it up to like 40 or 50 bucks. <laughs> Ouch. So I bought it immediately and got all the DLC packs for that price. And I got to say, it's kind of legit of them what they did because some of that DLC is really fun. Right. Um, and I don't think there's anything at, on the level of uh, the Dragonborn DLC for uh, Skyrim. But uh, they're fun. And, and in a game where I thought it was lacking, uh, that added enough that I was, you know, I, I was I enjoying it. Right. Off topic, I don't know why I'm so vague on the Skyrim DLC. I didn't play Dragon Boar or uh, Dawn Guard. Right. Yeah. Um, I uh, I played the one before that. I can't even remember what it's called. Well, no, it, it released. Dawn Guard it was, was Dawn Guard, Hearthfire, and then Dragonborn. Yeah. That's yeah. the order it released in. So. Mm. Hearthfire was fucking. I must have been. I literally, it, was, it was build your own house for yeah, five bucks. I, like, I yeah, fucked with that, that for was, about two minutes. And uh, you know what? It, honestly, sp- straight up speaking, it wasn't even worth it. Because, yeah. like. When when I, they, they sat there and they were they were talking about it, and I was like, "Oh, that sounds kind of cool." What when I bought it, what I was thinking was Lego, like you get to yeah. well, <laughs> you get to put your shit where you want it. No, and it's like, no, we're just gonna no, you don't get to do that. Everything's predetermined. You just got to craft the shit. Like that's fucking. Good. It's interesting. It's kind of a window into their company. Like that DLC was kind of like the building blocks of what came to be in Fallout Four with yep. the the. the the building mechanics. Except that's a hell like of a that. lot more Lego than yeah. fucking that DLC was. Well, that yeah, it's like yeah, okay, I mean, it's like well, somebody in their company was like, "Hey, uh, Todd, I I uh, I did a thing. This mm-hmm. is pretty cool." And he's like, "That is pretty cool." And like they release it as DLC in Skyrim, and they're like, "We're going to incorporate that." In People Fallout like 4. building a house. Let's let's yeah. let's. Uh, let's I make mean, this bigger. you know, honestly, it was really cool the first time I did it. It was. Tedious I liked adopting as all children. Fuck. It was tedious as all fuck gathering all the materials, but it was still yeah. really cool. And at the end of the day, I had a big ass fucking mansion on a lake, which was really awesome. But then it's after much, that, that was it. That was I all. I couldn't it was. build what I wanted to in, in I, Fallout I, Four. Like, it's like, do I want this shitty rusty house that doesn't fit <laughs> properly into this space, or I don't want the other shitty rusty house that doesn't fit properly into this space? It's another Pass. thing that was solved by mods. Yeah. Un- the, one of the DLC packs or two of them added a lot more options, but uh, they were all still pretty fucking. It, it was just rusty shit house. Yeah, how long have we been I going? Mean, I mean, it's Fallout. I don't know what you were yeah. expecting. You're in post-apocalyptic America. Rusty shit houses are about all you can get. We are currently at uh, just about four to three minutes. Okay, right on. Not bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Rusty Shithouse, I, yeah. I don't know what else you really expected. Like, that's it. That's all there is. If uh, Everything's uh, been burned away. Yeah. So, uh, going back to fucking us bitching about things we hate, if everybody could uh, stop pre-ordering games. Oh, that would be stop fantastic. Stop supporting these Ma- fuckheads. Like, it's, it's, mom, it's moms and dads, too. Like, yeah. You know, like, like I everybody, get, like, what are you doing? I get early yeah. downloading this, stuff. I remember when I was pre uh, I think yeah. I was I think I was thirteen. Uh, I was I was a young thirteen year old boy. Right mm-hmm. back in the day, like Vice City was coming out. I I wanted Vice City so bad. I'm like, how back could in, your parents let you play that? Back at in those times, <laughs> there there was enough scarcity to merit pre ordering. Yeah. Well, I still remember. Fucking, I had to uh, wait like Halo. 2. I had to wait three agonizingly long weeks. Oh, geez, for that yeah. game to come into GameStop so that I could buy it. And I'm I was like, then I learned from my lesson, and I pre ordered the the shit out of San Andreas <laughs> when it came out. And uh, like, but now like there is. No scarcity yeah. on video games. Unless right. you're buying a game digitally, there is no reason at all for you to pre order a game. Right. Period. Right. I mean unless all you're, you're doing unless is, you're buying a Nintendo game. Like <laughs> you're it it's just Well, a Nintendo <laughs> no, console. console. Right. Microtransactions and pre orders and, and shit like that is is that is what is to blame for this uh, as to why the video game industry is in the state that it is in. Which means we are to blame for that shit because we exactly. are the ones that are driving that shit. We are the ones who are voting with that for that dumb shit with our wallets. 
And like that's the thing. Like pre-ordering, I don't have a problem with depending on who you're pre-ordering from. Mm-hmm. When you pre-order a game from Ubisoft, you are basically throwing your money into a trash can. When you pre-order from EA, you are burning that money. Stop pre-ordering from these bad games. Square companies. too. Fucking yeah, they're Square. They're awful with their fucking pre-order bullshit. Right. They it's... almost had that tier of if forty million people pre-order uh, um, Deus Ex Revolution, you'll all get this extra thing. If yeah, and it's 50 always million... just like a skin, a skin or something. Yeah, like, oh, like yeah. Here, download this skin for your gun. And like, it's like, you know like you're holding that, like, it ransom. No, stop. Like who, like who gives a shit? No, mm-hmm. you you want you want forty million people to pre-order your game. If you have planned DLC for it, 40 million people pre-order your game, you guys get the DLC for free. No, fuck that. I understand that's from, like, a business standpoint why a company, like, that's awesome. Right. They're getting that, like, you're... They're that, getting money. They know how you're, much they're They're getting sell, that basically. money. And, and, right, yeah, right. But like, it's still stupid. And but it, it is, it's ruining things. Like, it, it totally is. It ruins... It, 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 it sends companies into a negative direction because they, they, they don't... I feel like they don't strive to release the types of product the type of oh, product yeah, it that goes they into should. releasing games that are half like finished that are unfinished and shovelware and shit like that yeah. now if if pre-order wasn't a thing we'd be getting finished games yeah well because people would find out oh wait what did they do with that game oh i'm not fucking buying that you're today. fucked you're yeah fucked. you pre-order it your five bucks that's, is there your 40 bucks 50, that's, that's why i hate it so much like uh, certain companies have stopped giving out like review copies yeah like why you're just fuck you guys like so oh someone said something bad about your game it's not going to sell well well make a better game yeah oh we're i mean blacklisting this reviewer because they uh they said a bad said thing bad things or like games yeah. past. they're or like, questionable or like when shitty shitty steam developers sit there in dcma <laughs> oh, fucking fuck youtube assholes. videos because they they said it was bad it's, it's like a bad a... game well that's the fucking point of reviews reviews are there to to say hey i liked this game you guys like what I like. Maybe you'll like this game too. There's nothing more valuable. There should be nothing more valuable to a, a video game dev or a, a video game uh, company, whatever then distributor, and then constructive criticism. Or, or just you feed- need that yeah. constructive criticism, right. not just your your play tests where you sit people down and you hover over them while they play your game. It makes me question whether cubicle. or not they're play testing these. Like this, these, these people, games I don't think are, so. These people are outside of your reach. And they're playing your game, and they're giving you constructive criticism. You right. need to listen to that. So and they're that and they're doing it for free. Products well, not time. not for free. Yeah, but you're not pay. paying them. You just said, here, here's a review copy. Well, Tell us what you think. If you're fucking angry, Joe. Speaking of being blacklisted, he could have swore he was blacklisted by Nintendo, if I remember right. Because oh yeah, him and he's Sterling. pretty much paying them because they, they fucking demonetize all his videos, <laughs> all his Nintendo videos. Thank I, God for that. Uh, D- the Copyright lock. deadlock. Deadlock. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I fucking love that. Where, Jim where, Sterling. Yeah, Jim Sterling throws oh, as much shit that he can you get them all. Brilliant fucking bastard. <laughs> He'll sit there and have it so that you know Nintendo is fighting with Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> where Nintendo of Japan will try to claim something, and Nintendo of America's like, no, wait, that's our footage, and it just it just stops there. No one gets any money from it. I love that the shit blew up in Persona's face, Persona Five's face. I, I, Atlas. Face yeah, too. I don't know what Atlas was thinking. <laughs> I mean, I know what they were thinking. Japan was like, oh, we have Atlas. Japan was like, oh, we have so many of these 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 people. They love this game. They love our games. We don't want to spoil it for them. So you need to tell your people in the U.S. to not do this. Yeah. It's like, are you out of your fucking <laughs> mind? That's 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 as a flagrant abuse, a flagrant abuse using an arbitrary rule mm. that you cannot actually enforce. So you're flagrantly abusing our copyright system to. You know, violate someone's rights under the DCMA and under under fair use policy because you don't want the story spoiled for some of your fans. Go fuck yourself. That's not how that works. Yeah. Stop being a shit company. I I hate that shit, man. And like I said, all the DCMAs that pop out where these you have these little shitty Steam devs who are asset flippers who will sit there and buy Unity assets and then release Unity assets as a fucking game, and then DCMA take down videos that are calling them out for it. Like what the fuck? Or deleting comments that are pointing out their bullshit to other people. Or you know, just doing whatever they can to disabling was, comments on other gameplay videos. Like, come on, dude. Wasn't one of them uh, recently caught that uh, they tried to put in a uh, 
a fucking uh, uh, disclaimer or something where if you buy this game, you're not allowed to say shit about it. They'll sue you for it or something like that. Yeah, like they they put they, it in terms their, of use. They put it in their EULA where you're yeah, not okay. you're not allowed to you no know, you. You're not allowed to criticize the game. You're not allowed to stream yeah. it and stuff. Like, like what that, the that's fuck? not how that works. Do you do you not understand how these? Oh god! Like there is no judge in this country that would enforce that. Like, hey, you that, clicked okay. I that, don't. That I don't Eula, see the problem here. That you, Eula you owe them is forty million dollars. <laughs> that Eula is literally unenforceable. And like that's the thing that gets me is that they will put stuff like that in their end user license agreement. Say like, this is what you agreed to. Yeah, but, but that's violating my rights under fair use policy. So that's not how that works. Like, I'm entitled to my ability to critique something. I'm entitled to my ability to use your assets in a fair and honest way. So you can't sit there and put in your end user license agreement that I'm not allowed to critique your game <laughs> because you are literally taking away my First Amendment rights. You can't not only... say bad things about this podcast. I'm putting it in our EULA. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you can say whatever the fuck you want about this podcast. Like, <laughs> no, no like, bad comments. No, no, no negative please, comments. Actually, give us comments. Yeah, anything. Yeah, if you could uh, tell us we and, suck. Uh, well, that'll be that'll be fine. Yeah. We'll, we'll accept that. Rate us on iTunes. Rate us. I don't think Google Play even has a rating system. We got the don't. Facebook page. You know, up. give us a listen. Give Twitter's us a up. Go follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. So I think that's it for us. Like, uh, I, I think we've kind of run out of steam. Enough now. bitching. We're all really fucking tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like fired up and angry now. So I'm gonna end it here because if I keep fired going, up, I, if I keep going, <laughs> with, this will turn from like 51 minutes into like two and a half hours of me just bitching about stuff. So you know. Thanks for joining us again, guys. That's, an, that's another mm-hmm. episode of ours down. Hope, we hope you've enjoyed you, it. Yeah, we definitely hope you enjoy it. We want to thank you for hanging out with us and listening to us rant and rave over, over shit that everybody hates nowadays. Oh, and uh, thank you, Eddie, for the idea that we kind of sort of went uh, a little, a little, just a teeny bit off topic on. We used we, we we inspiration. It, it, was in, it was inspiration, <laughs> so we can't, you know, thanks. Thanks for that. All right, guys, that's, yeah. that's another episode for the Ungodly Geeks. I'm Joe. I'm Ron. Uh, I was Luke. And uh, have a good day. And remember, folks, all pants are bathrooms, but not all bathrooms are pants. So do yourself a favor. Get enough fiber in your diet. (laughs) Fuck yeah.